We're back at Smithfield Station. We're going to take the Tex Trail into Grapevine and ride on the Vintage Railroad. So today we're riding on one of the most modern um, trains that Dallas-Fort Worth area has, followed by one of the oldest and uh, <laughs> maybe most fun to ride on the Vintage Railroad in Grapevine with the kid. So, gonna have a good time today. Have some lunch and grapevine at the Harvest Hall. Let's go to Grapevine. This is the train we're going to ride on. Okay, we're back in Grapevine. Came on the text rail. And uh, this time we're going to eat at the Harvest Hall. And then ride the vintage train out of... Uh, Grapevine station and show you guys what that's like. There's our little engineer right there. You got a mustache. Oh, crazy hair. <laughs> So we're coming in to the big harvest hall. You sit at the table, your phone connects. It identifies your table. The menu shows up on your phone. It's all done with near field communications. Pretty cool to see these little, little dots. You set your phone on there. So looking for where we want to sit. Oh wait, wait, we gotta get you going right. John always wants to get there early. So there's the vintage train we're gonna ride, y'all.
They're getting it ready. The Grapevine Vintage Railroad. We're gonna take a ride on it today. We missed the backstory story which occurred here. Here we go. Wait. Wait. You gonna be here? You gonna be here or over there? Or? Uh, I'll be wherever there's less people. But Where did we get on? Okay. Uh, 1808. 1808. So down with follow that other conductor. Okay. Follow the other conductor. Oh, yeah, we're doing the the floor to ceiling. Yeah, windows, one of these. Yeah, we're, it's the one down there. Though. Look at that. That's really neat. All windows. windows are really neat. Daddy, there's no seatbelts. Nope, there's a train. There's no seatbelts on trains. Yeah. There's ceiling fans. They have ceiling oh, fans, but no seatbelts. They have what, but no seatbelts? I'm your captain. <laughs> I'm your captain. I'm your captain. I take both. Hey, let's You can't take both seats. You are not my captain. You are my conductor. Is that it, conductor? 23 minutes? Cheeseburger! <laughs> My very best to be quiet and let you folks enjoy your train ride. Here we go. For your safety, we do ask that you remain seated as much as possible. Standing in the vestibules, which is the portion of the train between the coaches, or hanging out over the sides is prohibited. Our windows need to remain closed at all times. Now, some of you are in coaches that have blinds in the windows, and you might be tempted to check those blinds out, move them up and down, see what they're all about. Please don't. Those blinds are approaching 100 years old. They are incredibly fragile. If they are damaged, they cannot be repaired or replaced. So please, please, please do not adjust the blinds. Federal law prohibits smoking and the use of vaping devices while on board the train. Our restrooms are located in our first class. Estamos ofreciendo servicio de venta que incluye palomitas, una perreta de botanas y refrescos. Aceptamos pagos en efectivo o con tarjeta. 
All right, for a little bit of the history on the route that we're taking today, we are on the old Cotton Belt route, which is the St. Louis and Southwestern line that first came to Grapevine in 1888. It earned the nickname Cotton Belt because of large amounts of cotton produced here in North Texas. It was transported by rail into the northern United States where it was turned into fabric and then redistributed across the country. Today we'll be traveling through Grapevine, Colleyville, a little sliver of the city of Hearst, and then we'll be on our way uh, to restore this as green as possible with a few modern conveniences thrown in here and there. And they are decorated to reflect the golden age of the railroad. Now the pride and joy of our Great Line Vintage Railroad fleet is our steam locomotive, number 2248. We affectionately call her Puffy. Puffy is having some restoration work of her own done that'll add about 50 years to her lifespan which is pretty impressive when you consider she just celebrated her 126th birthday. We, we recognize this Walmart. Boy, with the floor to ceiling window, it's like, there's nothing in between you and the aboard. That is a big difference, just having that massive. Where are we going? It's, 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 oh. it's your turn to say something that starts with the letter S. Oh, it starts with the letter S. Uh, <clears throat> salmon. Ew. It's a fish. It's a type of fish. Okay, okay, okay. <laughs> The view is great. I mean, the floor to ceiling windows is awesome. Yeah, it's like you could fall out. You like those animal crackers? Yeah. That's a fun thing to have on the ride. And popcorn. Letter B, yeah. boy, boy. What was yours? Big. Big? Uh-huh. Uh, blue. It's not a thing, but it's a word. Bamboo. Bamboo? Ooh, nice one. Wait, did you say balloon? I said balloon. You already said balloon. You said blue. Oh. No. I didn't say balloon. Oh. You already said balloon. <laughs> I did not say balloon. Thank you, Dad. You said you don't. Lightning. Oh yeah, that's very, very imaginative. They're falling out. Running out of L words. I'm running out of L words. Let's see what we're starting with the letter H. Hat. Hat. That's a good one. 
Hamburger. Tell me, did you like the train today? Yeah. What did you like about it? Everything. Did you like Did you like the big windows? Yeah. Did you feel like you were going to fall out? No. No? <laughs> so would you recommend the train to other children? Would you say, yes, you should do this, or no, don't do this? Whatever. <laughs> Whatever. Here you go, blow your train. All right, blow the whistle. He likes the train. Oh, look at the golf course. Coming back in the grapevine. Yeah. Great Mountain Historic Cotton Belt Depot, we'd like to thank you for riding with us today. We are all very glad that you chose to spend part of your Sunday with us. We love having you on board. We hope you get a chance to see you back again soon. We are going to ask that you remain in your seats until the train has come to a complete stop and our engineer lets us know that it is safe to begin unloading the train. Once that happens, we'll get the doors open for you so that you folks can uh, be on with your day. Well, you are in Great Vine today. Don't forget to explore our main street. There's over 80 different shops, galleries, and restaurants, so there's a little something for everybody on main street. Now, I do need to ask your help for just a second. We've got a group of folks that don't get enough attention for the work they do. They're the shy little creatures that live up in our locomotives. Uh, they've been keeping us safe on the rails today, operating the train. So let's get a huge round of applause for our transportation guys. Thank you for helping me celebrate them. They are some of the hardest working members of our team. And they are not often in the public eye, so we celebrate them every chance we get. So thank you for that. All right, like I said, we're going to you stay in those seats until the train comes to a complete stop, and our engineer lets us know that it's safe to be unloading, and I those doors are open for you. And just thank you again for joining us today. Have a safe and wonderful weekend. We're inside the hotel van. Susan is taking a picture of something. <laughs> Look at these fellas. Hey, fella. Hey, fella. Look at the world. That's interesting. Okay, this is the peace circle. 
Each of these represents one of the tribes. Chickasaw, Waco, Tawakoni, Kichi, Caddo, Anadarko, Ioni, Biloxi, and finally Cherokee. And then this here is Sam Houston. And if you notice, they're all they're all looking at him, which ties into the story that was on the plaque over there. The Peace Circle in Grapevine, Texas. Stop! Woo! All right, we're on our way back home. That's it for this one. We'll see you on the next trip.